most famous physical therapist on the internet. So welcome to this hypermobility class. Today we're going to be looking at the concept of less is more. And by that I mean maybe less range of movement so that we start to build joint control, but also less muscular effort. So when we have hypermobility, we tend to brace or guard and carry a lot of tension in our bodies as a form of stability. And what we're going to try and look at in this introductory class is how to move when we can soften a little bit and let go of some of that unnecessary tension. So it doesn't mean we'll be working any less, we'll be just be working in a more efficient way and ways that actually use less energy so it's less tiring, which is great. Okay, so you'll need a mat. Um, come and lie down. If you need a head cushion, please grab one. Um, you don't need any special equipment for this class. So just get yourself comfortable on the floor or on your bed if you're doing this on your bed. And take a moment to just settle into the floor. You can close your eyes if you feel happy to do so. And I just want you to allow your body to kind of meet the mat and feel your bones just sort of dropping towards the floor starting to get a sense of the support from, be from beneath you. And the more you sort of lie here and feel that settling, see if you can notice that any muscular tension you might have been carrying can also start to drop away. So maybe you can become aware of tension that you might have around your shoulders, maybe your jaw, your abdominal muscles, even your pelvis, your hips. And see if we can invite those areas to just let go, to soften a little. And the more you tune into that letting go, you might notice that your body starts to feel a little heavier onto the mat. When you start to feel heavier, it's a good indication that we're letting go of that tension. You might also notice that your breath becomes a little slower, a little less hurried. So very gently just roll your head from side to side. Remember, the theme for today is less is more. So we're trying to move our head with the least amount of effort, just allowing gravity to roll it from side to side. And then come back to the center. Now we're just going to bend our arms so that our forearms are vertical, the elbows are on the floor, and that kind of opens the chest a little bit so it can help with our breathing as well. Now very slowly, remember less, less speed, less effort, less range, we're going to slowly let the arm float up to the ceiling. And now as the arm goes up, can we let the shoulder feel really heavy and supported into the ground? Just make sure it hasn't crept up to your ear, it's still dropping directly below the arm. And then slowly bend that arm and come back down. And then we're going to go to the other side. Can I feel the weightiness into the back of my arm as I float the arm up? See if you can soften the skin of your arm. So again, we're not carrying additional tension around the surfaces of the skin. And then coming back down. And then we're going to do both together. So very soft, very slowly coming up. Soft elbow, soft skin feeling the weight through the back of the body and then lowering those arms all the way back down and then just lowering the forearms back to the ground. Gently roll the head from side to side, coming back to the center. Just give yourself a little body scan, check that we're not harboring any tension, nothing's crept back in, can we let that go? 
Now we're going to take one arm, we're going to keep it straight. Think about lifting the arm from the back of your body. So think of getting heavier through the shoulder as the arm comes up. And remember, less range, so we're only going to go to about um, in line with our ears, even if you can go to the floor. And then we're going to bring the arm back nice and slow, keeping the elbow soft. And we'll do the other one. We're going up, soft elbow, coming overhead, and then coming back all the way. Now we're going to see if we can float both of them up, soft skin above our chest, and we're going to go for a little swim. So we're going to take one arm back, one arm forward, keeping that heaviness in the back of the body, keeping the slowness, because that helps improve control, helps improve um, body awareness, which is very important in hypermobility. And back we come, feeling both of those shoulders nice and heavy, as you lower them slowly back to the ground. And just let your arms rest. Now, if you pop your hands on your pelvis and just let your hands rest there. Now, the pelvis is an area where we can carry a lot of tension. So remember, we're trying to do less is more. So I'd like you to try and move your pelvis forward and back, but without engaging and overusing the muscles to do this. So can you gently rock the pelvis forward and rock it back? But see if you can do that without pushing with your legs or pushing with your back. Can you really just move very slowly the pelvis forward and back? See if that feels different to how you might have normally done this. And then come back and just rest. Now from there, we're going to keep the pelvis heavy. We're going to lift one heel. And we're going to try, similar to what we did with your arms, we're going to roll, because this is a deep socket here, we're going to roll the thigh into the hip joint. Make sure we're not gripping through the front of the leg. And then we're going to roll it back down. So we're going to lift the heel. Pelvis is heavy. We're going to roll in. So again, less effort, less speed and less range. So we're not letting the leg come in and crash towards us. We're really controlling that motion. You probably notice I don't do many reps either. So it's also less repetition. So when you're starting out, if you have hypermobility, I found it really, really important that we start with a low number of reps so that we build up our safety and our tissue tolerance. So oftentimes many people will start with one or two repetitions and build up from there. So coming back here, we've been lifting the leg. What would happen if we try to slide it away? So it's a little bit harder on this mat because it's um, a bit bumpy, but if you've got a soft mat, we can slide the leg in, try and keep everything soft through your back and slide the leg out and bring it back in. So nice and easy, keeping that heaviness through the back of the body. Ideally, the foot stays in touch with the floor the whole time. And one more. Keeping the ribs soft and back we come. Very good. Now just bring your feet and knees a little closer together and just take your arms out. You can turn your palms up and just gently rock. The legs can kind of slide against each other, but just gently rock from side to side. Again, not going to the floor with your legs, even if you can, just gently massaging through the back of the pelvis and having some control about how far the legs are going. Very good. And then come back, just walk your feet back to hip distance and bring your hands back in by your sides and maybe just roll your head a little again from side to side. So we're going to do one final exercise, which is called a dead bug. 
So we're kind of putting together all of those exercises or certainly some of those exercises. So again, settling the body. And then what we're going to be doing is lifting the opposite arm and leg. So we're going to lift the heel and then we're going to try and lift the arm and leg at the same time. Remember, soft skin, heavy, and then lower them down nice and slow together. And we'll do the same, lift the heel and then lift the arm. Can we maintain balance and heaviness through the back of the body as we do this? This is a very nice stability exercise. But again, we want to keep everything working at its optimum level and not overworking. Let's just do one more set coming up. Can we keep those elbows soft? Can we keep the shoulder heavy? And last one. Up, shoulder heavy and down. And then you're just going to lift up one leg and we're just going to give it a little hug into our chest just to release the back. If you'd like, you can do some very slow ankle circles here just to mobilize the uh, lower leg. Very nice. And swapping over. So again, just a nice deep breath. Gently mobilizing, feeling the pelvis heavy, and just let it go. So very slowly roll onto your side and make your way up. Take your time, especially if you have pots um, or any dizziness, just take your time coming back up and come into a comfortable seated position. So I hope you enjoyed that first um, look at less is more, um, really using that concept to make us more efficient and use less of our big global muscles, which we tend to do when we have hypermobility. And once you overuse these big global muscles, the deep stabilizing muscles don't really have a chance to work. And what we really need to target are those deep stabilizing muscles. So I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you again soon.